as you may or may not have heard, TikTok just had an update recently where users under the age of 18 are locked into only using the app for 60 minutes a day. We're going to talk about that and whether or not it's a very good thing to do. We're going to take a look at some of the biggest replies on Twitter, and I'm going to give my thoughts on the matter afterwards, but we're going to talk about it in just a second. I do want to say hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's talk about TikTok. So the replies that I wanted to take to, because this is all about the channel, guys, is I want to take a look at what people are saying, and one of the biggest tweets about this was from Dexterdo here. TikTok announced that they will limit screen time for users under 18 to just 60 minutes a day, and I must apologize. I was getting the idea for the video at work, so I have my screenshots from my phone here. Let's see what the top replies had to say. This was the most liked reply. Crazy. Why are so many people changing their birthday on the platform to January 1st, 2000? What a crazy coincidence. It's, it's so true, and I'm not going to lie to you. Not all of these are going to be humorous, but it, you get the point where... This isn't going to do anything. This isn't going to fix anything. You could argue that this is a step in the right direction that TikTok is doing. But there's so much more to it, and on top of that, it's just so easy to bypass. It's it's probably something that they're just covering their own butts for. We have another one here that's just basically mocking the whole thing. Nobody in the history of the internet has lied about their age. This is such a W, an effective move. And of course, this person is saying that this is going to do absolutely nothing, and I completely agree. They might as well have not done this. I understand why they're doing it, though. I'm on the side of they're just covering their butts in case something happens. Daily Dose replied, YouTube shorts right now with the graph going up, and this is another step in the right direction on the side of YouTube. I believe YouTube, I'm wholeheartedly on the side that YouTube shorts is going to take over TikTok completely. Yeah, they're a little bit behind on the trends right now, but they're getting a handle on it, and they're constantly improving the app every every single day. I'm constantly watching IQ, vidIQ's videos on it. Excuse me there. And YouTube Shorts, they're working so hard on it because TikTok was such a success, right? Why wouldn't YouTube want to take over that? They're taking over the live streaming game. They're going to take over the TikTok game. They've just monetized their videos for creators so people have an incentive to go over. I'm so, so on the YouTube train right now. Another user wrote, this is an interesting and a step in the right direction, but I think the real problem is that parents should probably be doing their job instead of these major tech companies doing it for them. This... I completely agree with if your child is spending more than an hour a day on TikTok, there's a little bit of an issue there. You can argue like here and there how much screen time is good for a kid because I think like I grew up in the perfect generation where I had a very, very nice balance of screen time. I went out, I came home from school, I ate dinner, I watched a little bit of TV while I ate dinner, I went out for most of the night to the park, came home, played some video games at night. I don't see a problem with that. Plus, as long as like my parents had basically the rule where, hey, maintain some good grades. If you're failing, you're not getting anything in the whole world. So I think that's a very good way to go about it. That's a whole conversation for another time. But the whole point of this is I completely agree that parents should be doing their jobs. They need to be monitoring their kids, especially if they are on apps like TikTok. Like right now, I've like you've seen clips going viral of people. You saw what was that trend where you had your phone and then you had all the pictures. I had to get rid of the app that I was just on. But you get the point. You just go scroll, 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 scroll. Right. And then you would just eventually in one of those 35 pictures, you would see a naked lady. Right. And on top of that, there's breastfeeding videos going viral right now. And apparently that's OK. Like your children shouldn't be seeing that. And on top of that, it's just completely soft corn adult content everywhere that you look like if you are a parent and I, I'm a small channel. So maybe one day a parent will be watching this video. Scroll the app of TikTok, download it and scroll around for it with for like, I don't know. What would you say, guys, like two minutes, two minutes, scroll around and then watch what your child is is, is consuming hours a day. So it is a step in the right direction, in my opinion. I agree with that. But the biggest thing is parents need to be doing their jobs with TikTok. Another user wrote, so just enter a passcode to continue. This is just TikTok shifting responsibility to the user so they can't say it's not our fault. That I completely agree with. That's the idea that I had from the get-go when I first heard about this. 100% agree. And after that, there's just a lot of comments, just like pretty much what we saw with the first two, just mocking. It's like, wow, this is such a W for TikTok. Now people aren't going to ever, ever able to be get on TikTok. You know what I mean? Nobody's ever going to lie about their age. It's the internet. Everybody's so honest. But... The biggest thing is I completely agree that this should just be left up to the parents because like we shouldn't need it <laughs> have to just say, hey, if you're consuming this for more than an hour, it's probably not good. Hop off. You're locked out. Like where are the parents in this? But again, again, we're living in the West right now. And this is just well, the way things are going. Right. It's it's absolutely incredible what people are seeing. And like I just said, the whole app is basically like soft core stuff. But you have to really morph your for you page into it. And we can dive into like whether TikTok's good or bad for you. For example, I love TikTok because I've morphed my For You page. I have like zero thirst traps. And I'm, I'm actually quite proud of that because if you circle around a lot of people on TikTok, it's crazy what you see. Mine is a wonderful mix of education. Last, I have a Clen Reacts channel where I watch TikToks together. And then you wouldn't believe the amount of TikToks that I just scroll past because it wouldn't be interesting to somebody. It's just like some random fact or like something. And again, I don't keep, I keep my political views private on TikTok, but you see a lot, I see a lot of stuff that, 
It has to do with that, and I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be very dodgy with that. You get the point. I morph my For You page to be a nice mixture of, like, gaming. I like watching some fails. I like watching some comedy. But along with that, I am consuming so much educational content. I've actually learned quite a lot from TikTok. So there's a good and bad side to it. But again, it takes somebody like me who's not the regular guy. And I don't mean to say, like, oh, my God, look how great I am. I'm talking about because I'm an adult. For kids, this thing should be absolutely put away, especially for people like, I don't know, like, what would you say the age? Anyone, maybe under the age of 18, actually, because they won't be able to have their impulse control. They'll just, they're just going to see a naked girl pretty, and then they're just going to keep scrolling and perhaps, like, touch pee-pee, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> it's it, it's a big problem, and I feel like you can do what I did. You can morph your TikTok for you page to be a good thing, but this is something that kids should absolutely be staying away from. This is a step in the right direction, what TikTok is doing, where you shouldn't be watching this for more than an hour if you're under 18, but I don't think they should be watching at all. I'm wholeheartedly on the side of they're just protecting themselves from the blame if anything at all were to go wrong. Hey, we suggest that kids aren't on it for that long. You know what I mean? Some kid gets depressed. I don't know. You get the point. It's tough to say. The only solution would just be to get rid of it altogether. But then again, it's tough. It's tough. I'm on the side of get rid of it. Get rid of it leave it for good. But there's so many alternatives. The same stuff's on Instagram. The same stuff's going to be on YouTube shorts. The same stuff is on actual adult websites. You have a problem with OnlyFans right now. Is TikTok really worth going after? I'm on the side, man, that this world is going downhill fast. and There's nothing we can do about it. We need to get a handle on all of these social media apps collectively all at once. Or else it's just no, there's just no point in banning TikTok. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I don't see a solution to this, but is it better than nothing? I guess so. I guess so. This will probably leave it up to you guys. I'd love to know what you think. Do you agree with any of the tweets that I showed you today from the replies? What do you think about TikTok? Do you think children should be watching it? I'd love to know what you think. And honestly, if you're like me, tell me if there's other people like me out there where I just morph my For You page. Like, oh, another thing I was just watching. I was watching so many videos. And I understand, like, it can be argued that's not exactly educational. But I was watching so many videos on the pyramids and theories built around them. Like, there's some really interesting content that you can consume on TikTok. And that's where the side that people don't talk about enough. So I'm, it's tough. And you could go into, I know I'm going on another tangent here, but you could go into the whole side. I totally understand and respect the people who are saying I don't want to be spied on, but I'm on the side of you're crazy if you don't think that all of the other apps are doing that. So I might as well download TikTok. I might as well use it because all the other apps are doing it. Why not stop at this one? You know what I mean? That's where I'm from. I'm on the mindset of there is no stopping this world from going downhill. So not necessarily that I'm jumping on the train, but there's, I don't have anything to say about it. Does that make sense? I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. But again, I don't want to go on a whole nother tangent here. Let me know what you think down below, please. Are you like me too? I want to know if there's other people out there who do what I do with their for, with their for you page. Please let me know down below and let me know what you think about this entire topic. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here and enjoy the content, please consider the like button to help out the channel a ton and subscribe if you're a brand new. Check description down below for links to all my other channels. And if you would like to hear more talk about anything trending, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.